Alright guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Got another video for you. We're going to do a little bit more work in this 2006 CRF 250R. So I'm going to the ORV park tomorrow. Right. Got everything ready to go except for spark arresters. So I ended up getting some uh, sink drains and I'm going to install those. That's all they require at this point. You know, the basic bottom line type of spark arrestor. So that's what we're going to do today. If you guys aren't subscribed, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button and the alert bell and then go ahead and smash that like button as well because I know you guys keep coming back. So you got to like this stuff for me. I appreciate it. All right. So let's go ahead and get into this. All right, guys, so <clears throat> what I have is just your run-of-the-mill sink strainers. So we're just going to pop these on either side. And they're not going to look the best, I know, but uh, you know what? They're going to get the job done, so should be good to go. Got me a bag of rivets here as well, a bunch of different sizes. And of course a rivet gun and a drill. I don't know, I might just bend these over the end. I don't know if that would be a good idea though. Hate to drill into these, but you know what? I'll have to see what size will be a better way to go. That should be good. These are 5 30 seconds, 20, 8 and 3 16 of an inch. I'm going to go ahead and put a center punch there. That is one. Let's go ahead and tap the holes for these other ones.
seems like it's better if you push these through first because the little wires will get in between and get shoved into the hole and it just makes it a tighter fit you got to pound it in so just push them through first So that's it. It's not the prettiest looking thing, but you know what? <clears throat> That'll do it. At least I hope so. All right, guys, that's it. Like I said, it's pretty simple. So hopefully this will uh, do the trick at the ORV park and on trails, stuff like that. And you know, it's pretty simple. It just takes a drill, drill bit, those couple of those strainers, and some rivets, and you're good to go. So, all right, guys, if you aren't subscribed. Hit the subscribe button and the alert bell so you can come on back and check out what we got going on here. And uh, make sure you hit the like button. And if you guys have any questions, go ahead and ask the questions in the comment section. And, you know, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. All right, guys, we'll see you in the next video. So come on back, take care, and God bless.